Let's get to the races now. Our 22 News crews are fanned out across the state with a team of reporters covering races from Springfield to Boston. Our team coverage begins tonight from Boston. Reporter Kate Wilkinson and Ellen Fleming are covering the race for governor. Let's go to Kate first. She's live at Maura Healy's election night campaign event at the Fairmont Copley Plaza in Boston. Kate. The stage has been set ahead of Maura Healy's arrival. People here tonight to watch if history is going to be made. From UMass Amherst to Suffolk University, polling shows Healy up by double digits over former state rep Jeff Deal. However, that doesn't mean a slam dunk is guaranteed for Healy tonight. This election has taken Healy from Worcester to Northampton, but today the attorney general spent her time in the Boston area, visiting a polling place in Somerville and then getting pizza, pizza in East Boston with her running mate Kim Driscoll. If elected, she could become the first lesbian governor in the country, first female elected governor in the state. Senators Markey as well as Warren are expected to be here along with Boston Mayor Wu. We're going to be live in Boston. Kate Wilkinson, 20 News. candidate Jeff Deal. He's holding his campaign party tonight at the Boston Harbor Hotel. 22 News reporter Ellen Fleming is covering this race for us tonight. And Ellen, what can you tell us about Jeff Deal? Republican Jeff Deal has an uphill battle if he wants to clinch the top spot. Attorney General Maura Healey has been leading in every poll by double digits. Libertarian candidate for governor Kevin Reed and his running mate Peter Everett are also on the ballot. Now the 53-year-old businessman and father has stayed true to his conservative politics throughout this campaign. Early on, his campaign earned the backing of former President Donald Trump, an endorsement that doesn't mean much in a blue state like Massachusetts. Deal is running alongside former state representative Leah Cole Allen from Peabody, who only spent two years in the House before leaving to pursue a career in nursing. They are running on a platform of making Massachusetts more affordable, undoing vaccine mandates, and what they are calling parental rights. Deal spent eight years as a state representative from Whitman, where he staunchly opposed tax hikes. Deal will be voting no on question one, two, and four, and yes on question three. Now for Deal to win tonight, he will need to convince a majority of independents, perhaps even some Democrats, to vote for him. Now, if you have not returned your mail-in ballot yet, you can do so at your local drop box by 8 p.m. tonight. Working for you live in Boston, I'm Ellen Fleming, 22 News.